Hello, Mr. Paul here from the Silk Branch Library, and I'm glad you're joining us today because I'm going to read a story about one of my favorite animals. I'm going to spell the animal's name, and then I will read it to you. Let's see if you can figure it out before I tell you. The first letter is F. It makes a th sound. The next letter is R. Er. Then we have an O. Ah. And the last letter is G. G. Do you know what this word spells? It spells frog. Yes, my favorite animal is a frog. And I have my friend Kermit here today. Hi-ho! And I'm going to read a froggy book. I love froggy books. This one says, it's Froggy Goes to Grandma's. Oh, he's going to go gra visit his grandmother. That'll be fun. This book is written by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remkowitz, and I'm reading this today with permission from Penguin Random House Publishing. Thank you. Froggy Goes to Grandma's by Jonathan London. Froggy woke up and bounced on his bed. Boing, boing, boing. Yippee, he sang. We're going to Grandma's. And off he jumped. Whee! And got dressed. Zip, zoop, zup, zut, 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 zap. Put on his hat. Froggy! called his mother. What? It's time to pack for our trip, dear. I already did, he said. Then he flopped into the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. And ate his breakfast of cereal and fly. Ooh, yuck. Munch, crunch, munch. Then off to the taxi they went. Flop, flop, flop. First, they took a plane. Zoom. And then they went by taxi again. Beep, beep. I can't wait to see Grandma Cook, Froggy cried. He called her Grandma Cook because she was the best cook in the world. When they finally got to Grandma's, he cried, Grandma, 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 cook! And he leapfrogged over Dad, whoop! He leapfrogged over Mom, whoop! And leapfrogged over Polygwaglina, whoop! And almost knocked Grandma down, oh no! Whoa, ca cried Grandma, cook! You're too big to catch, Muffin! but you're just the right size for a great big hug. On the first day at Grandma's, they went to the museum. Now remember, Muffin, no yelling and bouncing around, said Grandma. Look, yelled Froggy, bouncing over the painting, the famous Frogalisa by Leonardo de Piggy. Froggy, called Grandma. Wah! Don't touch it. But he was already racing to a statue of an alligator named the Thinker. Look, yelled Froggy. And he sat with his chin on his fist and said, I'm thinking, I think. 
I think you stink, said Polly, giggling. We don't say stink, said Grandma. We say smell. Pee-hoo, said Polly, holding her nose. The next day, they went to a baseball game. Yippee, cried Froggy. Just then, the batter hit a pop-up. Whack! And the ball sailed up and up and up. It's mine, called Froggy. Froggy. And he leapfrogged over Grandma, and he leapfrogged over the dugout, and he leapfrogged over the catcher and caught it in his baseball cap. Got it, cried Froggy. And then he put his cap back on with the ball still in it. Bonk. And knocked himself down. Out, cried the ump. Oops, said Froggy. The next night, they went to the amusement park. Grandma didn't like high places, but Froggy said, Come on, Grandma, it's as easy as falling off a log. And they went on a water slide called the Logger's Revenge. And when they got to the top, Grandma threw up her hands and yelled, Whee! And Froggy yelled, Yarch! Looking greener than normal. On the day after that, Grandma took them bowling, her favorite sport. First up, Grandma bowled the ball. Strike! Next up, Polly pushed the ball and it rolled slowly. Slowly, and it came to a stop against the front pin. Strike! yelled Polly. Now it was Froggy's turn. Watch this, cried Froggy, and he threw the ball with all his might. But his fingers got stuck, and he flew with the ball. Yikes! Thump! Oops! cried Froggy. Good try, said Grandma. But the best day of all was the last day. Grandma Cook was going to cook. I want to help, cried Froggy. Then Froggy stood on a chair and helped her stir the sauce. And he sang, Swirly, girly, swiggly, splash! Now it's time to boil the spaghetti, said Grandma. I'll open it, said Froggy. And he was so excited, he tore open the box. Rip! And spaghetti flew everywhere. Oh no. And it rained down on Polly's head. Wah! wailed Polly. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. But soon, Grandma Cook served her famous pasta frogonaise, otherwise known as spaghetti with fly sauce. Mm -mm -mm. And Froggy and Polly chowed down. Yum, cried Froggy. You're the best grandma ever. Slurp, slurp, slurp. <laughs> the end. I hope you enjoyed the story. And stay tuned for more. Um, come back and visit our website and you can see more stories. Thank you.